Hello, my peeps. <laughs> I'm giddy with excitement. And I don't want to jinx anything, but I think it worked. Oh. Um, I still cannot figure out uh, why I can't get my face cam to go when I have my overhead camera on. I had both of them before, but now it's it's an either or. I can get the, the front facing camera, but I'm scared to change anything mid-live because it's just been so long since anything worked. So I'm a minute early because I was being better safe than sorry. And I am still just waiting for Zoom to catch up so I can hopefully, 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 hopefully <laughs> see some comments. Because wouldn't that be lovely? Wouldn't that be loverly? Oh, really? The other thing we'll eventually figure out is how to tell if anybody's on YouTube. <laughs> oh, comments. I see comments. I don't see comments. I see the comments section. Uh, do, 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 just uh, ran a little long here. Do, do, do. I wasn't actually planning on going live today. But I'm so darn excited about this box of stuff that uh, I couldn't help myself. Okay, I think, oh, oh my good Lord, I did. Okay. So I can't see the comments on the computer yet. Don't know why. I have the option to hide chat, which I didn't hit. So obviously the chat is not hidden. So I'm not sure why it doesn't show anything. But on my on my laptop or my iPad, which I have going just to be able to see what it looks like otherwise, um, I can see the comment section. So if somebody would love to type a comment, I would love to read it. So I know it's working. Okay, it is 6.01. <clears throat> Excuse me. Finally hit puberty. I'm just gonna have a sip of tea. Or two sips of tea. Oh, it's just burning hot in the perfect temperature right now. Okay. Hello everyone. <laughs> it is Tracy Stewart here, your independent stampin' up demonstrator and local paper pusher. Uh as I said, it was not <laughs> totally planning on going live today um nor was i planning on making a new graphic but i've been at canva again because i do like canva um so yeah i am um, hope it's been out. it says i'm live thank you um can you type a comment please tamara because i don't i see two sets of comments but nothing seems to be showing up so i'm, I'm curious if that's working um oh look this minute i'm looking I'm, I'm trying not to uh i'm trying to do this smoothly but oh i can't because <laughs> that's just too much work okay just making sure i got the right messages okay so yes i uh, expedited my order because i didn't have the patience to wait and because so many things to get ready for so many good things and oh it's all you know um and then once i knew it was <laughs> it was on the box i'm like that's it i'm opening it tonight i can't wait and while technically I am not opening the box for the first time with you guys, I will show you that it is in a box and there is the pre-order. But in order to make this work better and run a little smoother and maybe have like, you know, a shot at um, appearing at even the slightest bit professional. Uh, well, tell your internet to smarten up Tamara, but thank you very much for making the comment. And hello, Kim, right, sent by Tamara. Um, whichever reason found you here, I'm glad you're here. So yeah, um, I, I just couldn't wait. So I have stuff organized and I'm going to try to, you know, check off six boxes while I unbox. <laughs> ah, that'll get fun. Okay. I'm going to move this out of the way for now. I have stacks of stuff around me so that I can drag grab things at us as they go. So yes, we're not allowed to show the inside of the catalog. <clears throat> but I can now show the outside of the catalog because I have a catalog. Uh, yours won't come with my name written on it, unless you want me to. If you want me to write my name on your catalog, you just let me know. Um, I'm going to do my best to get the catalogs out to everybody in the next week or so so that you can be all ready to go in order <laughs> when, when this stuff comes out. Because 
I would have told you this before. I would have told you to watch out. There's certain things that I think are going to be, um, what does Stampin' Up! calls them? Runners. They're just going to, like, people are going to see them. They're going to love them. They're going to buy them. And they're going to go either out of stock or on, or on, like, currently unavailable. But the more of the stuff that I see, oh, there's so much good stuff. And because, because that's been a bit of a thing, um, I think people are going to, like, there's going to be some pretty busy ordering on September 1st. September 6th, actually, is the day. So I know I'm going to order more stuff. The things that I want. Hi, Kathy. I know. I can't, I, I, patience is not my strong suit. That's why I'm not a doctor, because I have no patience. Um, your tech support isn't due. I know my tech support helped me a little bit earlier this afternoon, hence the reason we're back on. My tech support has now powered out and fallen asleep on the couch. Uh, he's trying to get his sleep schedule back on track, and he slept 14 hours yesterday. But he woke up at two in the morning. So now he fell asleep yesterday at noon. Now he's made it to six. So like maybe a couple more days and we'll be back on track. Okay. Anyway, so here's what we're doing. In as we go, I'm also going to highlight, and, and you'll notice I told you I like Canva, but you hopefully will see this one. I'm not showing you anything for because this is like crafting for the guys who can come and make stuff for their significant other or the kids. And it generally is the significant other who's watching all of this stuff. So I'm not showing you the projects because they're meant to be a surprise. But you'll notice with all these other ones, I have picked graphics um, to go with um, the suites. And so you'll see as we go, we'll see if you can make sense of my little thing. But I'm going to tell you which stuff I'm using for these events. And then you see that nice big one in the middle there? It's got its own separate sheet because it's such a big deal. That is our Christmas extravaganza. And um, I can now show you the sets and some of the paper and stuff. Um, as we do the Christmas extravaganza, um, I already had like, instantly projects come to mind and sort of had a few ideas by Tamara. And now I'm going to make some samples. And then Tamara is going to have like final veto power because the one year I had too many die cuts. So she now has final veto power on the die cuts. And, um, and then we'll make all the samples and she'll start cutting right away. Cause it takes that much time for her to cut all that stuff. And uh, yeah, unfortunately it's panic buying, but, but it's fun buying. <laughs> um, so yeah, she'll start buying all that stuff. So between now and September 6th, when we actually order all the stuff, there's a slight chance that things might change slightly, but I'm going to give you my best idea of what will be an extravaganza. So I've kind of put these things in order here. I got to give you something good to look at on the table. Oh my good Lord. Um, <laughs> this might be one of my favorite things in there. Um, so yeah, I'm going to show you what we're going to use. And, um, as we go through for like each of the thing, I kind of got them grouped into suites or, or, or bundles. And then at the end, I just sort of have the one-offs because as much as it may look like it, I don't buy everything in the catalog and even some of the stuff, like I'll like the accessories, but the stamp set and the punch and dies will be like, meh, meh, you know, cause you don't have to like everything. Um, some stuff I do though, and some stuff I ordered multiples of. This I ordered two of because that's all we could order right now. But as soon as it goes live, I'll be ordering more. Why? Well, for one thing, it's awesome paper. For a second thing, it is. It is a. I, I was calling it the charity paper, and now I can't remember what it's actually called. Uh, making a difference. So the paper itself is actually called a walk in the forest. And for those of you who know. My background. I think I have some new viewers today, so I'll just tell you. Um, I retired two years ago after 30 years of a career as a forest ranger slash wildfire ranger. So yes, trees, leaves, wildlife, fire, it all speaks to me. Oh my, look at this paper. Anyways, it's awesome. So of course I'm buying the paper just because the paper's awesome. But Stampin' Up! is also in the making a difference part. Um, we'll donate $4 from each package of paper to a charity. And I'm going to look at this. Because uh, they haven't actually announced yet. And I know in the past when they do this, they do it by market. So in North America, they usually will pick like an American and a Canadian one. Uh, Europe, they'll pick one. Australia, they'll pick one. But they haven't actually said exactly what they all are. But what it says is dedicate, uh, to, well, $4 per package will be donated to organizations dedicated to spreading cheer and providing support to those in need. Is that just not what everybody needs? Cheer and support when you need it. So yeah, this is going to be popular. I will be ordering a lot of it. Uh, so will a lot of people. So that's our first one. And that's right at the be beginning of the catalog. So when you do get your catalog, 
it's almost in the it, it almost seems like in the front it's part of just like the intro with the cool pictures and little stuff that it almost seems like that and then it really gets going okay. and then um yeah I'm going to try to figure out how to make this work. Okay, so that's the first one. I'm going to leave it on the table for a minute because the next two things kind of coordinate. So then the next thing we have up is Marius Trees. Oh, yeah, a lot. I lost my mind a little bit with this one for so many reasons. So it, this one is just a bundle, right? Not just a bundle. Look at this bundle. So it's trees, and, or trees, it's stamps, and it's dyes. But if you look at these dyes, and my first thing came to mind was a treat container, and I haven't had a chance to play with this yet. So you know the Russian nesting dolls? Yeah, I'm almost willing to try that. Um, oh, hi, Jen. But if nothing else, I did have an idea for a different kind of treat holder. But so the tree has one, two, three, four, five. So you see how this is one, two, three, four, five? You can cut like separate pieces and separate die cuts. They can be different colors. There's a little Duma flicky here that will cut out strings of garland and you see how they're all different lengths because they match the level of the tree that the garland there's a, a lovely little um basket i guess that's supposed to look like the tree stand i forgot it was this huge tag look how awesome this tag is little stars we got some stars we got some boxes for presents we got some ornaments oh my goodness i'm so excited about this whole thing the reason i leave it on the table is yes you guessed it I'm gonna guess it's this one, but I'm also gonna guess there's more than one. I'm gonna to try to take it off this horrible sticky paper without destroying the die. So there's at least one tree right there. <clears throat> yep, so those, a couple of those, those ones work. This one I think might work too. So some of the dies in this set, yep, that one too, will cut out the trees in this paper. So this is called Marius Trees. This is, what we're using on the 27th of August for Holiday Head Start. See, trees. <laughs> um, so yeah, if you want more information on my classes than that, all the registration links are up. There's links to all the different stuff. Once I have the samples, I will make them. But basically the 27th of August, <clears throat> I'm setting up at the Leisure Center in beautiful downtown Morville. And we're making three cards with this set, but I will also have out all of the other stuff I have and the stuff that I don't have that somebody else might've bought. Um, if I can borrow it, because she's going to be able to tell them then. Um, I'll have out as much stuff as I can, just so you can see what the stuff looks like in person, because sometimes that's what you need. And then I will have samples from all the different events, so you can see what we're making at the different events and sign-up sheets. And I'm going to have a special deal if you order then. And Oh, yeah, I got all sorts of stuff going on. Uh, but, yeah, this is the one we're using on the 27th. So the 27th of August is a good one. It's like a little, it's, it's like a little open house slash make-and-take session. Um, uh, I can't, I cannot wait to play with this stuff. Anyways, yes, I already have like two of the three cards that we're making them designed. Okay, so the other one, okay, the other one I'm gonna have to do in pieces because the other one is a, is a sweet and it is a sweet. Okay, <laughs> this might be the thing that got me the most excited though when I opened the catalog because it's on one of the first two pages in that little intro section. I love you a good Duma You can never have too many Duma clips. Sorry for that very loud paper. The bear punch. I got so excited when I saw the bear punch. Um, and yes, you guessed it. Obviously, uh, <laughs> it's pretty obvious when, what the bear cuts out. It cuts out bears. Uh, but yes, this punch will cut out the bears out of this paper. And I think, um, I was going to say it cuts out the tree, but then I thought, you know, those of you who don't know me will just think I'm a weirdo. Those who know me know I'm a weirdo. Um, and there's two sheets, and it looks like it fits on both of them. And, and there's a way, I can't remember exactly how to do it. There's a way that you can get super fancy and you can mirror punch. And if I can remember how to do that before I need to, I'll see if you can punch out the one going the other direction. But basically, all of the ones facing left, you can punch with the bear punch. Okay, so this is standalone paper, standalone bundle that just happens to work with this. And then this, which also works with this, is part of a much bigger thing. <laughs> Are we all caught up so far? Okay. Um, just a minute here, i got to shift some stuff so I don't make a mess. Today's uh, major challenge will be not knocking anything on the floor in the process. Okay, so the bear is actually part of the very cute suite. <laughs> now, well, whereas that other paper was forest paper, like forest animal, forest bear, 
could be black bear, brown bear, cinnamon bears. There's a whole thing about bears. I was not getting started on, on a biology lesson. Uh, this is more polar bear, as you can tell. And I did not open it. I, was, I started opening some of them because, like I said, <laughs> I thought it would be nice to appear slightly professional as we went. Um, I know the wheel. Oh, my God. I, I thought about it afterwards. And I thought, you know, part of the whole unboxing thing is you can you can uh, get the excitement as I open stuff. OK, I opened the box earlier as I was talking to Tamara, uh, video chatting, and I was very excited about some of the stuff, and I had actually, I'd opened it a couple minutes before I called it, and I was still squealing about it, and then as I was putting stuff in order, I was squealing some more about it. Uh, there's no shortage of squealing on the, oh my goodness, this stuff is so awesome. Look at this pattern. <sighs> Love this paper. Presents. Bear paws, or bear tracks. So we got some snowflakes, these adorable trees. We got some uh, polar bear family. Look at the animals. We got th this is totally like polar bear Arctic with the sweaters and the snow. There's the one I was looking for. Ice. Oops. My paper's too big to show everything I want. There we go. Ice flows. <laughs> More. Oh my God. I love this stuff, right? Okay. So, <laughs> yeah. No shortage of excitement. Okay. So this bear will. Um, you know what I'm going to show you, though? I'm going to show you somebody else. This happens to be the scrap that's on here. Here's here's a tip. You weren't expecting a tip. You were just expecting an unboxing. You can do this with dyes as well. But with the, with the dye, it's easier just to put the dye on the paper. But with the punch, sometimes it's hard to tell. So later, when I'm making the traditionally green bear card. <laughs> but this is what you do. So this is what the punch punches out, right? So the punch uh, punches out. Uh, kind of, no, looks like it punches out naked bear. And it does not punch out that one. Oh, punches out the dude in the sweater. See, you just make a template. <laughs> punch out a piece of cardstock. Just whatever sitting on your desk. Oh, punches out that bear in the sweater. Uh, this bear in the sweater. Okay, so it's a little, nope, not that one. Uh, yeah. So it looks appears to be the naked bear. I know, they don't wear clothes. It's not like they're naked. Uh, that bear, that bear, and that bear. So... There's multiples of them, but it appears to punch out those bears <laughs> and probably bears and some other sheets of paper. You know what else it punches out? <laughs> the bears and the very cute stamp set. <laughs> so yes, this one has paper. It has a bear punch. It has a, oops, that was too fast. Beautifully sparkly, like velvety, fuzzy, oh, lovely ribbon. Uh, it has a embossing folder, which, I, was, I thought I did. I thought I opened all of these. Like I said, to, the, a part of it was also to avoid the noisy plastic. And if I drop any of the plastic on the floor, the dog goes nuts and attacks it. So. Um, this is a, oh, there we go. Look at that. The lovely snow flurry. Nope, snowflake sky is what that one's called. Embossing folder. It goes with it. Um, it has these. Very cool. They just look like shimmery stuff, right? But they're sequins. So they're flat. There's two sizes, three colors that go with this suite. And then there's a set of memories and more cards. So there's card bases in two different colors. There's card envelopes, fancy schmancy envelopes. Look at that. And these, so the cards are six and a quarter by four and a quarter. The envelopes are six and a half by four and a half. And these go with the memories more, and I did not open these on purpose because they'll be everywhere. Um, I've seen some of the samples and stuff. He's bare naked, <laughs> but I'm boom. She's here all week, folks. Um, on the fence with the Kim. What can I do to make you not be on the fence with the polar bears? They're adorable. <laughs> okay, so if you get to see, no, I'm sorry, I will not pressure anybody. Um, so if you see the the it, once you get the catalog, you'll see a bunch of these cards are out. But these cards, so these are four by six cards that fit on the four and a quarter by six and a quarter. Um, card bases and then this one and then there's little packages of stickers in here and they are amazing the pictures and the cuteness and if you've ever bought memories and more before they are amazing so this whole suite can you guess which one we're using it on and i and, and i did put this bear on it at first because i didn't realize that the bear paper had the right the brown bear and this should have been white but then you wouldn't have been able to see it so slight confusion but nonetheless very cute christmas a -thon. And you're like, what the heck is a Christmas a thought? Well, I used to do like a little mini extravaganza at my house, but that morphed into the bigger extravaganza. And so now at the leisure center, because 
dog is not happy with the visitors. Um, we're having a Christmas a thon, <laughs> is what I'm calling it. And basically, you're going to get for the admission price, if you want the bundle, it's slightly more, but if not, it's this. Um, you're going to get all of this. And basically, we're going to spend the day crafting together. We're going to go from nine to four. We're going to break for lunch, but we're going to, and, and I'm still working on the whole lunch thing. Once people tell me if they're coming or not, my next door neighbor's a chef and he makes some good food and he caters. And so, you know, maybe, yeah. Oh, the, the ideas. Um, but nonetheless, there's 20 cards in this pack. So you can either make 20 cards or I will have lots of different options available to you for using these ones um, and using these and making like little gift card holders. And we're going to make some gift boxes and some gift bags. And it's just going to be a sit, share <laughs> and craft all day until your heart is full of bears. So Christmas, I thought. Okay, and this one just been, I'm trying really hard now to not drop this because you know what will happen? Bear on the toe. <laughs> bear, this one's for you, Tamara. A bear on my bare foot <laughs> will not feel good. Um, okay. Oh, I forgot to mention, one of the cards we're making for extravaganza, and I, and I, don't, I haven't left it out yet here. I haven't put this out because this is worth looking at for a while. Um, one of the cards we're doing for extravaganza. So the plan is to do two of the three designs. There's, there's three designs for each 12 cards total. So two of the designs will be made with the main suite, but one of the designs is going to be a more wintry, bear centric, masculine youth type. And it will be made with likely the charity paper, Possibly the other, but likely the charity paper. So I forgot to mention that as I was going. Um, this suite, this is actually part of the suite, and I only bought one of the stamp sets and bundles. This paper alone, I will be stocking up on, I can tell you that. Because, um, yes, the first page. But it has, I love navy blue. Navy blue. It has so much navy blue in here, and sand, and skies, and little scenery, sceneries. Scenery scenes, I guess. I don't know. That's not even good English. More. Oh, but this first page, I just love it. I see a, I see a 12 by 12 wall art frame coming. Um, sorry, I got to put this like this. Oh, it, this was this, the top sheet on the package. I didn't just put it there because it's my favorite. It was already there. I love it. So the other bundle is something with stars and it has a set of dies and it makes very elaborate. Um, a, probably like five or six different sizes of stars kind of like this shaped stars but it cuts and embosses at the same time it comes with the you know, hybrid embossing folder so it's it's awesome as well but the one i got was the meg divine one so it has these nice big sentiments mm, look at these dies <laughs> yep that's why i bought it um every year i'm asked to make religious cards and i don't have really good religious sets well now you got choices oh you got choices uh, just gonna, I have to turn that so I can, okay, that's just a cow sitting down. I, at first, I couldn't quite tell what that was. So we have some clouds, cow, donkey. I'd like to say the other word, but get banned on YouTube. Another cloud, little sheep, little camel. Uh, what do you got? We got one shepherd, one wise man, another sheep, Mary, Joseph, and Jesus. And look at this. This is all embossed. Oh, so excited. Okay, but here's the good thing. And this is one of the embellishments that is coming in um, with your extravaganza. I'm so impressed with these things. <laughs> Order lots, they're going to sell out. Oh, Tamara, I'm a total nerd. These are adhesive backstar trinkets. They are metal, but I don't know what kind. I'm not a gemologist or I don't know whatever the right name for that would be, but I can tell by the weight of this package, they are not cheap. And look at, they are the perfect size. And because I have stuff underneath, I cannot make the damn thing focus. There we go. <gasps> they're awesome. Awesome. So yes, I'm gonna leave that off to the side for now because I need it later for the show again. But oh, and, and you know, because we have gold stuff, that's why we ordered those because they're so awesome. Um, yeah, this this is gonna be a popular set. This paper is. Oh, uh, this suite also has another um, package of uh, like the specialty paper that is golds and blues. Uh, I can't remember exactly what it's called, but it's something. <laughs> okay. So here's the, oh, wait a minute. Okay, so the nativity set, um, we are gonna actually make a nativity treat. I'm gonna make a manger treat. 
um, as one of the options on the treats and tags at the end. Treats and tags at the end is more, and there's an awesome, 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 awesome. I'm going to stop saying the word awesome tonight. Um, there is a fantastic <laughs> little tag that's made with that set. So treats and tags at the end is, you kind of do it old school. You bring candy, I bring a whole bunch of treat and tag options. You match your candy to the treat, to the thing, and away we go. And it's just lots of fun. I love making treats and treat containers. Uh, anyway, so that's one of the things we're doing there. We're also going to be using that set at one of my midweek escapes, which is my Thursday morning thing. So I'm not doing a full class on that, but <clears throat> that's one of those things I bought just because I needed it for personal use. <laughs> okay, so here is, just a minute, I dropped some stuff and I can't, can't get it out without putting stuff down. Okay, sneak peek, Boop. there you go. Um, so here is, this stuff, the main suite we are using for extravaganza. Uh, okay, so Joy of Noel and Christmas Classics are the two bundles in it. I think it might be called the Joy of Christmas Suite. Should have looked that up first. I don't actually know. So here's the specialty paper, the yummy specialty paper. Look at those musical notes. So I'm doing this one added because I'm still holding the other stuff because I have so much stuff out and about right now. But I cannot make it work. Okay, so we have, oh, look at this paper, guys. Isn't that awesome? There's actually four designs. I just can't seem to find the fourth design. It looks like gold wood. Look, there it is. Hiding. Okay, so that is the specialty paper. This is the designer series paper. And it is, uh, it, so this is like, <clears throat> I, I guess it's more traditional Christmas greenery foliage type thing. Just a minute. I'm going to set some of this stuff down before, before that disaster strikes. Um, I love this stuff. I, I'm not super traditional, but I love foliage and holly and oh, look at that. There's even buffalo check. So, but look at these deep, rich, oops, can't flip colors. There's more music on there. A little bit of buffalo check. Look at these. Oh, isn't this gorgeous? Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Okay. Paper. So this is, I don't know how to do it, I'm going to mash it up. So this is, like I said, this is the main stuff. We're not using this at Extravaganza as it stands. This check looks very much like the one we have. This check is very vanilla. Ooh, ah, I know, right? Um, so the current one we have is white. This one is very vanilla. The paper is not screaming white or screaming very vanilla. Just as a note, because I checked it out. This one, this one specialty paper looks more white to me than anything. Um, and then look at this. Oh, these are also not the embellishment just because of how, um, how hard they would be to use in a rush in a crowd. But I will tell you, it's possible they might, <laughs> they might end up somewhere because there's little notes and there's little holly leaves. And then there's these little, and they're not, these are not flat. They're like little gems. And if our, if our glue dots were just a tiny bit smaller, they would work. So the notes in the holly leaves are flat and the other ones are little gems, but for shaker cards, oh. So on here, when it says, we're shaking up world card making day, we're using these. <laughs> and I'm just gonna have a couple shaker options. This is one of them that will be there so that you can uh, come and check out things and business and just enjoy and make a couple shaker cards if you want. Um, but yeah, shaker cards take a bit more stuff, but, and so not totally sure that's gonna work. I know, Kim, isn't it? The paper, oh my goodness, the paper in this catalog. Each, I haven't even got to the fall and the other stuff. It, it, the paper just gets better and better and better. Some of them I just ordered the paper. It just keeps getting better. Okay. Um, this is the main stamp set that we are using for extravaganza, Christmas classics. Love it. My Christmas cards this year, probably all gonna say peace on earth because I love that. Uh, tidings of comfort and joy, we've got a season's greetings just for Samara. <laughs> Christmas, deck the halls. And then these mix and match, right? So you can write happy Christmas, Merry Christmas, Christmas wishes, happy holidays. I guess you could write Merry holidays if you really wanted to. Um, season's greetings to you and yours, whatever other combinations you can come up with. And then we have some like little images. <laughs> That's the word I was going for. And then if you want to upgrade to the bundle, oh, this bundle is so awesome. It needed two pieces of card. <laughs> yeah, right. Okay, so we have some greenery. 
this one makes just holes in the paper. It's harder to see, but it'll make like cool peek through things. Same as this one. This is the one that I just was like, instantly I saw it and I thought, okay, well, I'm for sure getting that bundle. And then once we figured stuff out, we knew that this was the bundle for you guys too. So you see these two dies. So this one makes the awesome background foliage. And then this one is the label that you can layer on top or you can just stamp straight in there. Oh, love it. Okay, <laughs> that was one. And then look at this bad boy, this huge thing of foliage. Now you notice that some of them, like this, these ones are just leaves, right? Um, and they're probably, if I could think, they're probably like dewberry or some kind of Christmassy leaf, but they just leaves, right? So there's holly. Every now and again, you'll see holly in here, but a lot of what's in here is just like spruce or pine boughs and some leaves and stuff. So I think you could use this for winter cards and you could probably even just get away with making like a foliage card. If every now and again, you just took some of these other ones and just kind of strategically placed them in front of the holly. <laughs> um, and this one also has, if you can see, a separate little square inside. So this is the outer layer and then you can cut a little thing to layer it on. And then this cuts out. Uh, some of these will just cut out the stamps things. So this is the awesome set of dies. This is the fantabulous set of dies that go with the fantabulous stamp sets that make up the main options on the extravaganza for the, this is, so this is a hundred dollar price point with all the extra stuff and cards and that includes a stamp set. If you go to 145, you get the bundle pricing. We discounted these dies are 51 or $52 or something. So for an extra 45, that gets you the 10% discount. That gets you the bundle. So you get the stamp set, the dies and all of the other stuff. and then. Not to confuse things, but because we're talking extravaganza still, uh, this is the other add-on that's out there. So this is a $33 stamp set, but we're just charging $33 to add it. We'll eat the shipping and, and tax on this one because this one also has a happy holidays sentiment, which is the right, you notice how this is, right? That's the right size. If you would rather, instead of season's greetings, you can have happy holidays. Uh, where is it? There we go. Cheers to the new year. Fits very nicely in the square. Um, you mean so much to me. That's an any time of the year kind of thing. If you just want to make your greenery stuff. Now, if you either want to do it out of love or to torment someone who has a Christmas birthday, <laughs> you could make happiest of birthdays with an entire Christmas suite. Um, but some of the other cards that we're making that are more just foresty trees and bears and wintry and stuff, you could make for, for, oops, what did I go again? For the birthdays or you mean so much, uh, if you just stamp this, oops, stamp this much, you got a cheers to you. So this is an awesome stamp set. This is a keep it in your thing for a long. Thank you at Christmas time to teachers, um, bus drivers, people at work, anybody else. Thank you cards year round. Yeah, exactly, Tamara, right? So I'm going to make samples using this set. And I'm going to make samples using a whole bunch of these stamps because I think it's amazing. And so you save a little bit going through us by not having to pay shipping and tax. And it was just because you can do it all at once. So if you want to have more options, <laughs> this gives you more options. This Now, this is not part of the actual suite, <clears throat> but it just fits too nicely. Um, I totally mix and match all the time. I, I just pick the stuff I like and put it together. Um, now, the other thing that is in the suite, like this whole big suite, is this stamp set. So we're not using the stamp set at the extravaganza, but it comes with these awesome dies that have a little more foliage and this lovely Noel. So I think that's gonna find its way into the one design too, because I really like it. And because Tamara loves to die cut. And the more die cuts, the better. That's what she totally told me. The more die cuts, the better. Um, now also, and if I had been smart, I would have made a hint. Somewhere several pages down, you have to, when you're looking at the mini catalog and I can't show you, yes, I can have, oh, look at me how clever I am. Um, I can't show you the current catalog, but I can show you the spring catalog because <laughs> it's over. So when you're looking at things, here's what you need. This is how I do things now. I don't even know what page to look on, but um, <clears throat> I'll find one. So this is how I look at a new catalog now. I look at it like this and I look at the big obvious stuff. Oops, that's a sweet, that's not a, that's not a good example. So I look at the big obvious stuff that's in here. I will find an example of it because they do it all the time now. And uh, so, yeah, I look at the suit and the dog and I'm like, yeah, that's cool, that's cool. Of course, I'm never going to find one now because, I, because I'm trying to. And I always look, 
These are all really big pages. But I always look around and I look at all the things on the sides, <laughs> right? Because if you don't look at the things on the sides like this here, right, you see the pretty stamp set and you see the, the pretty stamp set and you see all the samples, but did you see the basics? Because you got to look at all the little things to see, right? Because there's little things hidden all over the place in the catalogs. They're not hidden on purpose. It's just you get so distracted by all the pretty samples that I think you sometimes don't see the other stuff. So one of the things that I didn't see until my third look through the catalog, I'm probably up to like eight or nine by now, but on my third look through the catalog was these gold cards. So they come with um, the fancy envelopes and the gold card bases. If I could get one out of the thing. So we're gonna be using these for one of the designs because look at how awesome they are. Uh, and they go with a totally different bundle, um, but yeah, no idea. Totally forgot what it was. Um, Tamara, I see a little picture, but I can't tell what it is. <laughs> I don't know if that's my eyes or quality of the picture. Uh, anyways, yes, look at all of this. So again, let's just move this out of the way. To recap, the main part of extravaganza is these papers. This stamp set, those dies, these cards, I'm move those out of the way, those things. I'm going to put those off to the side because I think there might even be a couple more <laughs> things to add to it. Oh, I have no idea where I'm going to put that off to the side. Just a minute. I'm going to do that. Okay. Now, one of the other bundles, and this, this one's a little harder to show you. Um, because I didn't order the stamp set or the dies, because you don't have to. Uh, this is one of the other things that's coming in your extravaganza package. Um, can I make this go out enough without opening? Yes. These are faceted gems trio pack. So these will be used. This one is smoky slate. It's mostly hidden, and it's just very silvery looking. Uh, white and lost lagoon. <laughs> And this suite is, the suite has a, um, another set, another stamp set with winter foliage and stuff. It has this kind of sheer ribbon with the silver edge on it. It has these gems. It has this specialty paper, which is Lost Lagoon. And it's, it just says on the thing, it just says Lost Lagoon, but it has a white sheet in here as well. And it's very metallic and it's very pretty and it's very uh, shiny. This is white and silver, I love this paper. Um, so yes, very wintry. And then this one, oh, what is this called? Winter Meadow. That's what this week's called, Winter Meadow. This one has just, look at these trees, <laughs> blues and greens and trees. And so this is like the third card or the third design that we're making. I absolutely love this paper. Um, the third, I also, by the way, unless you have, in case you haven't guessed this, um, Oh, oh, that's what it was, because I said you loved it. You did say, the more die cutting, the better. I'm just going to keep repeating that until you believe it. The more die cutting, the better. Um, I totally do not like summer, like not at all. I am 100% a winter person. So any of the winter scenes speak to me. Like this one, look at this paper. You cut this strategically, you put it like right down the middle, you put a sentiment on the top. Oh, this is the most amazing paper. Anyways, yeah. So... It's possible this one will end up, it's more likely the other one, but one really never knows what might end up in the samples. Okay, so now there's no way I can go back in here and find, because now I'm making a mess of everything. Um, okay, there's, there's, more, there's more Christmas stuff coming, but I was trying to keep things like that went together, like in sweets and stuff. Okay, I'm going to tell you, not everybody is like, woohoo, Halloween. I love making Halloween stuff. Now, unfortunately, my son is now, he's about to start high school, K through six, actually daycare through six. Um, I made Halloween treats for his teachers, the people in the office, uh, people at work, his whole class. <laughs> I love making Halloween treats. Once he started junior high, he told me I wasn't allowed to send stuff to the school anymore. So then I made it for the people that I worked with. But then I retired. So now, guaranteed, because you don't come to one of my craft classes without getting a table treat, because that's just how it works that one of the treats for people is gonna be Halloween because I love this stuff so much. I'm making Halloween treats for whoever I can make Halloween treats for. Um, look at this paper. It's awesome. And this paper here that just look like, looks like houndstooth has little bats on it. 
Like, I don't know if I can make it focus. Can you see their little faces? <laughs> it's adorable. Uh, we got some little tombstones. Oh, see, now I shouldn't have done that. Come on, baby. It's going to focus eventually. I need to focus before I flip pages, though. Uh, this one that looks like a chevron, there we go, is bones. I'm not going to lift it up again. Um, little dancing skeletons. Uh, and yes, I think this is the page. Remember this page later, because I'm pretty sure that's one of the dice set up. Look at this. I love plaids. Ball plaid, little tombstones. Some more bat paper. <laughs> and then, oh, no, it's this one, I think. There's little skeleton dogs and skeleton cats and skeleton people and the whole skeleton family. And then this one says boo and eek and stuff on the back side of it and has all these like ready made yeah i love halloween stuff <laughs> um it's awesome paper it's awesome paper it's not the awesomest part of this suite though I don't, i'm not actually sure what the awesomest part of this suite is uh the bag of bones stamp set it has all the little bits and pieces and uh no bones about it you're a sweet friend see everybody might just get halloween stuff that says that now because i cannot wait to use this um, I know for sure there's at least one treat container though, because there's a crypt <laughs> and there's a little um, tombstone looking thing that fits in front of it. So, you know, I'm taking this, I could reach over and I can grab one of like seven things that's like right in front of me, but you can basically take any die cut and turn it into a treat holder. Trust me, because I have. <laughs> So you know that this is coming, turning into a treat holder. But all these really adorable skeletons, <laughs> there's like a pair of, you know, espadrilles, the dress shoes. There's a, a cane and a bow tie and a top hat and a cowboy hat and a guitar and a fedora and some cowboy boots. So you get to dress the skeletons up. There's grass. Oh, I'm going to have so much fun with this. So here's the thing, though. <clears throat> I am not the only one who thought this was awesome. Because, and I, I totally will admit that I've completely forgotten the answer now, but when I looked be just before I went live, because I always check just before I go live to see on the inventory status, either the stamp set or the dies are already sold out. <laughs> but they're coming back at the end of August. So whatever amount, I think it was the stamp set. So whatever amount they thought they were going to sell, they sold more than. <laughs> so this is awesome. But here is my personal opinion. And I have, like I said, no inside information. Here's my personal opinion on what made this suite as popular as it is. And I can't give you the full effect of it. Um, I can, this here, this is the full effect of it. This is the most I could possibly order <laughs> in the pre-order. Yeah. It's glow-in-the-dark paper <laughs> and glow-in-the-dark embellishments. And in here we have little bats and little ghosts. Now it's too bright in here to make them glow in the dark. <clears throat> oh, you can almost do it though. Look at this. So I put them up. If I put them up really close to the lights and I do this, nope. Um, but they get that kind of greeny. I, I can see it when I do this. I can, I can see them like this. It's almost like an opal right now, but they glow in the dark. And this paper that you can die cut all of these skeletons out of, it glows in the dark. <laughs> I'm saying it again, people. It glows in the dark. <laughs> How awesome is this? And I, I will tell you the, the, the thing, because even if you're not a Halloween person, the absolute first thing I saw when I saw this suite was I'm making a 12 by 12 wall art picture for my chiropractor. He's the best chiropractor ever. I've been seeing him for over 20 years. Um, his wife is the office manager. The people that work there, they are the most amazing people. They're all going to get little cards. <laughs> Thank you cards. And I'm making a 12 by 12 for the office. And it's all going to be dancing skeletons all dressed up and all having a great old time. Um, they love Halloween at the chiropractor office. They do. My chiropractor is like six, five. Um, and he dresses up in costumes and sometimes they're kids costumes. And it is the cutest thing to see this big man. And yeah, it is a stamp set. Thank you, Tamara. Um, and I'm not going to tell them that the stuff glows in the dark. They're going to find that out on their own. <laughs> I'm very excited about this whole suite, as you can tell. Okay. <laughs> and, and when every time I look at it, because it's actually called Them Bones, the sweet. Uh, them Bones, Them Bones, Them. Whatever song that is. I don't even know what the song is. I just know that part of it. Okay. Um, I think the rest of this stuff, yeah, we're getting into less um, full sweets or full bundles or full anythings anymore. Now it's just stuff I liked. So I forgot the name of the sweet. 
this okay so these are these are called blooming pearls <laughs> and the sweet is called blooming something it's not a sweet it's a bundle or maybe it's a sweet anyways i ordered the pearls and they're very pretty i ordered this calypso coral um twine gorgeous but the best part <laughs> i did not order the stamp set that's why i can't actually tell you what it's called uh there's nothing wrong with the stamp set I just didn't have an instant use for the stamp set, but I had an instant use. And I can tell you, if I had to guess, this item is in the next catalog because look at this awesome punch. It is called the Modern Oval Punch. And it is gonna be good for so many things. And I was very excited about label punches. <laughs> so <clears throat> that's something from the Bloom and Sweet. Um, yeah, right, like I said, we're at the point now where it's all just like bits and pieces. <laughs> Uh, these are the nested, oops, I'm not stuff on the floor, which is not the goal. Oh yeah, there we go. I knew there was more stuff in here. Um, these are nested treat boxes. And yes, first thing I saw, because again, I'm like obsessed with making 3D things, um, was an advent calendar. So I did the math. There's eight boxes in a package. So you need three boxes to get 24 to make an advent calendar. I don't know why some advent calendars have 25. I thought they were supposed to have 24, but in this case, unless you buy an extra box, you're having 24. There's two different pieces. This one has a notch in it. Um, the beauty of these things is they are all, and I just opened this. So what made me, what possessed me to think, hey, I should put this together. Um, these are two, Two by two. Actually, you know what? They might even be bigger than two by two. I think they're two by two, but they, for some reason, they look bigger. They are. That's, that's why they look bigger, because they are bigger. They're actually two and a half inches squared. So lots of our treat boxes in the past were two by two. And, and just looking as I can tell, it's bigger. Uh, <laughs> so it looks like, it looks like I did it backwards. That's what it looks like. It's going to say that's going to be messy with that thing on the outside. So <clears throat> there's probably, there's probably going to be a video or instructions, but hey, Tracy doesn't do instructions. <laughs> Tracy just picks things up and starts putting them together. So they, they're they pre-scored. They have little tear and tape, my personal favorite of the adhesives, on them. And just to give you a, an idea on size, you can put a fair bit in here. Um, in the catalog, they actually show four of these stacked up like two by two and um, tied together with ribbon. And I know I've seen advent calendars in the past too that are just one a week, like actual advent where you like light one candle a week. I've actually seen the, what does it go in the dark? I'm just seeing your comment now, sorry, sorry. And I'm chuckling because yes, go in the dark paper. Uh, but yeah, these are a pretty good size. Here's my computer mouse, <laughs> just to give you an idea. Right? Um, just a minute, I threw my mouse in and I changed my screen. Yeah, it is. Uh, sorry, I'm just trying to get my comments back. That's what I hit. There we go. These are some good size boxes. And then the outside one, I'm not going to put it together because you guys have been watching so patiently so far. Ladies' night, chicken and chicken. Okay, I think I showed you most of those. Um, I have a couple more things. I think because I'm doing this, I'm not actually going to do the live tomorrow. So I'm going to tag on a few things at the end. But um, I just got a few more of these lovely products to show you. So yes, this makes, <laughs> if I did it right, this makes a box like this, and then this little thing goes like this, right? So yeah, in the catalog, they showed four of them stacked like this, tied together with a ribbon. And you could certainly put like a week's worth of treats in one of these boxes. So nested boxes, nested treat boxes. Uh, I will be making gifts with those. Okay. Oh, ball. You guys, I love burlap. <laughs> I'm not really a shiny person per se, but this metallic copper ribbon that is in here is gorgeous. And then the, with the burlap that goes with it. Mm. And this is in the same suite. This is all about autumn is the name of the paper. So I'm going to get the stamp set. And, and I, I was trying to plan it based on classes, but there's some things that I'm also like, no, I'll just get that in September. <laughs> And I'm just, you know, spreading out the, the, the spending because there is an awesome set of leaves that have like the spines of the leaves are separate dyes so you can make two-tone leaves. It's very pretty. And the stamp set that go with this. Um, I just needed to play with paper. 
look at how gorgeous this paper is. And there's multiples, right? There's four of each sheet. We've got some sweaters, but we have look at the trees. There's some metallics. Sorry, how about I get that back in the frame? Uh, we got some woods, more metallics. I love pictures like this. Forest from the air. Um, pumpkins. This paper's gorgeous. Books. Next to stamping. Books might be right up there with the next load. Uh, upholstery. <laughs> more leaves. More books. More shiny. Oh, this paper is gorgeous. Gorgeous. So this is part of the All About Autumn. So like I said, now we're on to just the stragglers because this is how this is how I order. And I'm showing you everything I ordered, even if it doesn't make any sense. Um, even if it's not the complete anything, I'm just going to show you stuff. These I'm going to have some fun with. These, I also think these can make Halloween tombstones. But what they really are are classic gift card envelopes. And I think there's 20. There is 20. And we are going to be making some of these uh, extravaganza. Oh, I have buried my gift cards. So these will, a gift card will nicely slide in them and you can fold this down. But I think you can also just leave this open. Why well, I'm like trying so hard not to open the package. I opened every other package. Um, you can also just leave it open like this and decorate it up. And then like Merci chocolates or uh, those cookies that they have on the plane. I call them airplane cookies and I can never remember the actual name of them. They're skinny little things that'll fit in here. Like lots of little, the coffee, to go thingies. Mm. These are going to be fun. You can stamp right on them. You can wrap paper on them. You can decorate them up. So we'll be doing some of these also at Extravaganza. What did I do with the pile for Extravaganza? That's what I did with it. Uh, these ones. These ones are called Iridescent Adhesive Back Dots. I got to take this up because you won't get the full effect. These are right at the beginning of the catalog. It's the first suite in there. And the first suite in there is not for everyone. I'll say that. Um, it is some bright colors and some bold patterns. And so not definitely not your traditional, but fun. Oh, yes, fun. And there's, uh, and at first, because I was like, mm, I got my classes set. I got to figure out what we're doing. Um, I watched a different demonstrator, though, uh, do their unveiling. And I have since seen the picture, or the picture, the paper. I need that paper. But <laughs> the first thing I saw, and the thing that I thought I absolutely have to have, was these iridescent discs and they are flat, like completely flat. Colorful, shiny. Uh, where'd my cheat sheet go? Darn it. Uh, okay, I'm just gonna wing it. Poppy Parade, Cool Party, Melon Mambo, White and Granny Apple Green. I think that's my best guess. I think that's what they are. Oh, they're cool. <laughs> that's all I can say. They're very cool. Um, but yeah, it mer uh, bright. It's got something to do with bright because the images on it and stuff are all these really cool um, Christmas lights. And there's like the traditional shaped Christmas lights. And then there's the more Edison style or whatever they're called. This is called Cheery Patterns. And I cannot wait to use these. Um, kind of wavy, kind of bubbly, kind of fun. <laughs> Anyways, those are the cherry patterns embossing folders. And so the embossing folders in particular are like just in with some of the suites. And sometimes they're like right in a row. Sometimes they're just on the page. This next um, embossing folder, I didn't see it the first time. The other thing I've learned to do in the mini catalogs at the very back is like the index. It just shows little things. I wish I could show you mine because you can see how much stuff out of it I ordered. But um, I didn't see this one until I looked at the back. Because I Biscoff, thank you. Um, I always look at the back and just kind of go through and see if there's anything in there I didn't see because that makes me go back and look for it again on what page. Um, I didn't see this one until then. Look at this awesome, what's called Christmas Tidings folder. Here, my notes, that didn't help. Um, I was trying to see what would help, but nothing. Uh, so we have all sorts of different words. We got some holly, some trees, some ornaments, a little gingerbread man, a stocking, family, festive, Christmas, holiday. This is going to make for the best backgrounds. Oh, those, those are fun. Um, in a non-Christmas uh, thing that they have in there, I'm saving one of the best for last. I'm so excited about one of these. Actually, I probably have not not one of them is not by design. One of them is by design, but probably my two favorite project products out of the catalog are, are the two last ones I'm going to show you. Um, this new one I did not see the first couple of passes. I saw it afterwards. So this is in the current annual catalog. <clears throat> There's a a punch pack. It cuts out this shape and this shape. And there's a stamp set. 
I don't know what it's called, medley something, I think, um, as well. It seems to me it's more floral, the one that's currently in the catalog. I don't remember. So this one is now in the Christmas catalog or the holiday catalog. And the funny thing is, it's not really holiday related, but is this not the nicest font? And look at the four sentiments that it comes with. Congratulations, hello friend, happy birthday and thanks. Those are probably the four most popular cards I send and you can do some fun stuff with these punches. Ooh. Anyways, I, I mostly had to have it for the sentiments and stuff, but it's a very fun set. And with the punches and the, you can do really cool stuff with that. Anyways, that one's in there too. Um, this one is somebody's million dollar set. Now I don't remember. Tamara, do you remember? I've totally forgotten. Um, once you achieve a million dollars in personal sales or a million CSV, so it depends. In, the, in America, it's, it's actually a million here. It's about 1.3 million. It all depends on exchange rates, but you get to help design a stamp set. So you get to say, I want a stamp set that's like this and this and this. And then you work with the, the very, very talented designers at Stampin' Up and you come up with a stamp set. Sometimes it's part of a bundle, part of a suite. Sometimes it stays for a long time. Sometimes it's a short time. But nonetheless, you get to do it. So this is another one of those ones that you sh everybody should buy and just have. Because one thing that just like the second I saw it, I didn't even read the rest of the things that I wrote it on my list. A vertical happy birthday. <laughs> Very excited about the vertical happy birthday. But look at this. For every day, for kids, for grad, for whatever. Very proud of you. Hearts and prayers. Feeling better. Hope your day's happy. Great. Be grateful for what you have. Be proud of who you are. Words to live by. I uh, just love spending time with you. That works for anything. Your kindness is so appreciated. Knowing you bring joys to my heart. <laughs> this is just awesome. <laughs> um, and yes, I can't remember which one, but somebody did it. Okay, actually, I'm gonna I'm gonna save my I'm gonna save that one for us. This is another set of standalone dies. I didn't even open them up. <laughs> I'm just so excited. Look at how big. Because I love it. I love the the similar ones that we have. Look how big this thing is. This is one of those extra wide because these are big. I looked at the measurement in the catalog. I'd already, I mean, I looked at it and decided yes, but then I looked at the measurements in the catalog. Oh, inked and tile. Thank you, Tamara. That's the other one. <laughs> Look how big some of these dogs are. Um, okay, this is a sneak peek of tomorrow's post. Uh, and I will tell you, I made a bunch of cards, but this card is very closely cased to one by uh, Norella. Pugila, now I forgot her name. She's an artisan, Norella. I can't remember her name. I'll put it on tomorrow's post. But I'm, I'm just using it. First off, it's a gorgeous card. But to give you an idea how big a card is. <laughs> That's how big these dyes are. <laughs> Might see on the spine who this set is. Oh. Yeah, I was looking on the front and I didn't see, but. Oh, yes, it does. Oh, look at this. Tamara's so smart. Uh, th this, so sincere, this amazing stamp set, is uh, Sandy Hancock. And yes, it says it on the spine. Now I know that other demos out there because I was looking here where the little logo is and I thought the name was there and it's not, but yes, right there for future reference. For anybody who needs to know that, say thank you to Tamara. So yeah, there's like 14, 15, 16, I don't know, three, six, nine, 12, 14, maybe 14 dies. These are deckled circles. Now, if you have the deckled re rectangles, which I have a huge stack of, I'm not lying, sitting next to me on my desk right now because we're using those for a card because I love them so much. But they give the look of torn paper without tearing paper and making it look good is actually harder than you think. There we go. I'm trying to get on top of the wood. So that's a deckled edge is an art term. I asked somebody because I'm like deckled. What the heck? So these are the rectangles. So now they have circles. But just, can you imagine what you can make with these things? And this will this is just big enough for our, our big stamp and cut machine. It's big enough that this will fit through it. But look at these bad boys. That is a set of dies. <laughs> um, and then <laughs> oh, one, of my, one of my favorite animals is a moose. <laughs> I love moose. And yes, that's probably got something to do with career. But um, so you guys remember. Oh, I buried it. Well, I, I was doing a whole lot of fussing, Kevin, getting ready for a different set of cards. But you remember the zany zoo guys? <laughs> all of these little dudes um i had seen where it is there it is um, i had seen somebody a fellow demo and i'm sorry because i just saw it and thought what a great idea but i didn't actually save a picture or anything who took this a dancing deer colored this flower which is currently uncolored red might have colored the the skirt and shoes a little bit darker green might have just left them can't remember 
um, and, and then made this into a Christmas card, right? And just like very easily Christmas-fied these animals. There's ones in here having a party. There's ones rolling around. There's ones cooking and knitting and all things you can do to get ready for Christmas. So these little zany zoo guys have invited their friends for Christmas because it's the same kind of style and line art drawing. Is this not awesome? And yes, everybody needs to have a giraffe in their house so they can get the Christmas tree star on better. Uh, this though, a little something for you with lots of love for me is gonna make awesome treat tags from a crack production. And if you know, you know, it's not illegal. It's just Christmas crack. Um, but yes, look at the little beaver with the candy cane and the moose with the Christmas pudding. <laughs> can you guess why this is my favorite? <laughs> it's adorable. Okay, <laughs> um, so again, to recap, because <laughs> um, that's all I have for these stuff. Sorry, I just like totally went from one thing to another because I, I all of a sudden looked down and went, oh my God, they're still here and it's been an hour. So yes, to recap, <laughs> probably this paper, possibly another one for one of the cards. This is the stamp set. This is the add-on stamp sets. Those are the dies. One of the cards, those are those. That's one of the sets of embellishments. I have somehow misplaced the other set of embellishments. I did not throw it back where I was supposed to. Let's see if I can find it fast enough. Let's see if I cannot. Nope. Well, the other set of embellishments are, are the cool ones. The, um, oh, I forgot the name of them already. The Smoky Slate White and Lost Lagoon one, but I've forgotten now. I, oh, I see the paper. Just I can see the paper. Can I see the, I, think I can see the paper, but not the gems. Oh, there we go. That's the other set of gems that's coming. And that's what's in Christmas Extravaganza. Now, we are just over halfway sold out on the in-person event. Um, the deadline for registering is the 4th of September, and we will not take registrations after the 4th of September. Ideally, you register before that, because I have math and calculations and things to do to figure out how much of everything needs to be ordered. We can order on the 6th, and Tamara's got to start cutting and die cutting, because remember, the more die cuts, the better. So, so we need to start doing this. Um, by the time we order this, get the stuff, package the stuff, extravaganza is on the 14th. So hard and fast, 4th of September. The sooner you register, the better. Um, so yeah, there's like 17, I want to say, seats left for the in-person. And then we have a to-go option where you get all the same stuff. You're eligible for prizes and all that too. Um, you just don't get to partake in the snack table. And I got to tell you, the snack table is a great part of this. Best part of this is an entire day of chatting with people while you make cards. So Christmas extravaganza. If you're on the fence, look at this stuff. Um, okay, <laughs> moving on. Um, okay, so holiday head start. So for, for my peeps, that's the big one. Come there, you'll be able to see all the samples, all the stuff. Oh, trucking along. That's the first one up. I never actually showed you this stuff because it wasn't in the pre-order. This was from the online exclusives. But I can tell you that we're making an everyday card, a birthday card, a fall card, a Christmas card. What's the fifth one? I got five cards. Anyways, and only one of them is Christmas using this bundle. Because you can make other Christmas cards too. But um, I'm trying to think what's on here. Oh, the one that says sending you sunny thoughts. It's a cheer up card. So that's the what we're using for the trucking along, as you can tell by the thing. Shaking up extravaganza. Ladies night is a kit class. Um, I will tell you that the kit sale is still going. Kit sale. Um, I can also tell you, because I got papers everywhere. I was looking this up earlier, prepping for tomorrow, but now I'm telling you it all today. Um, so the kit collection, <laughs> here's Tracy's scratch sheet, uh, is all on sale. What I have figured out by writing things on my fancy sheet that I made is this year's kits are all 10% off. Last year's kits are all 20% off. And kits from previous years, or like 2021 when they moved them into there, but some of them are old kits they reconfigured, are all 30% off. Uh, three of them are currently unavailable. The Best Remedy, the Boho Beach, and the Confetti Birthday. Now, because you go on the website and you see currently unavailable, that means they're bringing more in. If at some point, and my personal guess is these older ones, but if at some point you look, so right now notes of cheer, 1620, beautiful set, no stamping, just bunch of butterflies and cool colors. 
Um, and any of the no stamping ones you get in four languages. Um, if you were to go tomorrow and look at notes of cheer wasn't there, it's because it's sold out and it's not coming back. So if something is not on the website, it's gone forever. If it says currently unavailable, it's being restocked. Will it be restocked in time for the sale? No idea. It doesn't show up on the inventory list with estimates, so no idea. Um, I can tell you though, some of these things are wicked good deals. Like this $34 memory keeper book, which would be great gift for like teenagers and stuff. Or anybody going, that's gonna travel or people that just like to journal or um, there's like a Bible verse journal, but it's not called a journal, but now I can't remember what it's called. Um, this has lots of options. Regular 34, 2380, that's over $10 off. That's awesome. Uh, these are well at last. So that's going on right now. Uh, what else? Uh, Thursday, midweek card escape. We are at a new location, Nourish in Morneville. Um, they have, I only had one so far, but the most delicious tea. They have an entire menu of smoothies. You can get like collagen and antioxidants and protein and extra things added. They're like all healthy stuff for you. Oh goodness, they taste good. So we're making three just everyday cards there. What else is on my list? <laughs> I think that's it. All I can tell you is I would love to see you on the 27th so we can talk about all this stuff and plan classes and have lots of fun. <clears throat> and uh, if you're all considering extravaganza, do it, do it, uh, and do it soon. <laughs> Ta-da! All these good things, plus more, because like I said, I can't. Uh, I will actually have the samples. That, my goal is to have the samples in the next like, week or so um, to run to by Tamara for, for approval to make sure I have enough die cuts because the more the better. <laughs> and um, I'm going to stop saying that before she just like logs off and drives over here and smacks me. Uh, but look at these. Oh, such good stuff. So I'm going to stop rambling now and I'm going to wrap it up. And then I'm going to go look at stuff and plan things and go, ooh, some more, because there's no end to the excitement of an unboxing. Uh, but thank you, everybody, for joining me and hanging in there for the length of time that you did. That's much appreciated. Um, if you have any questions, let me know. If I can help with anything, I will. Um, to recap the specifics of things you might need to know. Oh, there it is. Um, I can't show you the inside of the catalog, but demonstrators are going to start receiving um, like I said, I expedited, so I would imagine most people towards the end of this week, beginning of next week, will probably start receiving things. So catalogs should be on the move then. And um, if you're a demonstrator, you can order from this catalog right now. If you're not a demonstrator, you have to wait till the 6th of September. I will tell you some quick math before I go, and I swear to God, I will hang up. If your order is $116 or more, to recap, look at the amazing stuff. Is it going to be at all hard to get to $116? No, it is not. If your order is $116 or more, your best bet is to buy the starter kit. If you have not already bought the starter kit, if you're not already a demo, uh, buy the starter kit. Because the starter kit is $135 flat rate, no GST, no tax, and you get $165 worth of stuff. If you bought $116 worth of product, <clears throat> paid the 11% shipping, and the five, well, in Alberta, sorry to all of you who are not in Alberta, we only have the 5% GST. Your order comes out to like $135 and I don't know, 20 cents or something. So your best math is to pick $165 worth of stuff, pay $135 for it. And then like within minutes of actually ordering the starter kit, they will send you logout information and a demo number and everything. You can go right back onto the website and order more stuff at the demonstrator 20% discount. So there's your today's math lesson. If you can't wait, get the starter kit and get it now. <laughs> Best deal for math, but also means you don't have to wait for anything. The other bonus to this, if you're, if you're impatient such as myself, if you sign up and get the starter kit now, your first quota quarter like that you have to have is October, November, December. Um, and, and if you don't ever buy another thing, it doesn't matter. You can just like buy the starter kit and never do another thing. But because you started when you did, You'll remain active even if all you do is buy the starter kit until the end of December, which means in December, you will also get the catalog early for the for the mini occasions, the spring catalog, the spring mini, and be able to do the spring demo order, <laughs> pre-order. It is win-win. Demo perks. Hashtag demo perks. Okay, I'm done. Math is self-explanatory. Products are awesome. Thank you all for joining me tonight, peeps. I really appreciate it.
I really enjoyed this catalog, and I hope you do. All right. Take care, everyone. Bye.